Well, hello everybody, it's Fino M again, bringing you some more Astroneer today. Previous video, we found a space thingy. Some sort of vegetable or something that was located under the ground. And we brought it back. It was like a cactus. And inside of it was a truck. Trucks are great. So, now we gotta head back and we gotta grab some more of the aluminum ore so that we can turn it into aluminum so that we can finally build a truck and get out of this uh, hellish walking that we've been forced to do for so long we're, we're moving up in the world now we're going to get a truck but to get the truck we need aluminum so here we go we march on and we march on and we march on before we march on. Really is a long walk. Alright. We do have some power to help us out while we're in the cave. We should have dropped off some of our other stuff, I think. Um, it's alright. We can toss uh, some tethers out here. So I feel like this is going to be an area we chill out for a little while because of all the potential inside. It does bother me too that these tethers don't touch. There we go. So many tethers. They're everywhere. Alright. So we have two more things to research. Still have no idea what that goopy thing is. But we do need some more tethers, so let's craft those up. Get them going. Apparently we can't connect anything over here. What is this? So this is malachite, which we can turn into copper using our new smelting technology. I know it's not what we're here for, but... It's good all the same. So this place is very, very cool. Boom. It just keeps going deeper and deeper too from the looks of it. Just a giant cave system. Alright, so that's some more of what we were looking for right there. Aluminum ore. Very cool. Still have one more tether. Alright, let's try to... There we go. We... are all set to head back.
Whoosh. It's a little tricky to get in and out of the cave, but we're doing it. We're making it happen. We are having a lot of fun with it. We're not going to bring the other thing back just because of how much of a pain in the ass it seems to be to bring it back. We're just going to sprint back so we can get our truck and load it up. We got a lot of stuff we can smelt now, which is going to be great. We're doing it. This game has turned out to be far better than I thought it would be. Um, it does also have co-op, but I'm not sure on how to set up the co-op. But I think co-op could be fun as well. But even playing it solo is a lot of fun. It um, does remind me a lot of No Man's Sky, but it's definitely... It's definitely more fun than No Man's Sky because you're always progressing, you're always learning, and you're always like developing. And No Man's Sky was just a collectathon, in my opinion. It was just go here, look at that. Um, I did like the picture thing, and it reminded me like Pokemon Snap going around taking pictures and researching the different animal uh, creatures on the planets. But unlike Pokemon, No Man's Sky was like very generic. And you started seeing the same types of creatures and stuff, and... So we now have a vehicle bay. We have no power because it is dark. We need to craft up a new... Still have no idea what a beacon does. Um, what do we need to make that? Aluminum needed. We don't have enough aluminum to do that. I'd love to start getting some wind vanes going. Have some fun with that. I think that could be very fun potentially as well. All right. So we're charging up. Uh, let's craft up another solar power or panel. Let's ditch the beacon. We'll just throw it there for now, I guess. Um, and we'll go double solar on our character. And as soon as this guy here is ready, rover, shuttle, truck requires four aluminum. That's a lot of aluminum. But we're going to build it. We're going to build a truck. Perhaps not in this video. Uh, we want to get rid of. We want to make sure we clean out our bag this time because it hindered us last time. There we go. Um, we can drop. This resin can go over there. These are... It's titanium. Something required copper. And I think it's whatever will come out of this. It'll be our next thing we want to build. Um... And I also know we were building this kind of chute.
to also help expand the base. So now we can just go wee down here and we can get right inside and we don't have to worry about it. Probably a bit overdone, but what else? There we go. Nice. And now, we'll just flatten it out. Like so. We have a base. We have a little shoot. Whee! It's a little rough. But I think it accomplishes what we need. And it does it pretty well, actually. So. We're definitely expanding very nicely. Base looks very good. I still don't know what the end goal of building the base is and all that fun stuff, but. Um, I know we want to hold on to the copper. Um, we can throw this over here. The organic can go on the sky. And we can drop our titanium down the hole. And we can go hunt down aluminum. And a lot of it, apparently. <laughs> Getting pretty good at this. But before we head out, actually, I think we're going to wrap up this video right here. Time gets, like, way away from me when I'm playing this game. It's insane how fast time goes when I'm playing this. It's amazing. Um, and it's just a fun game. I'm having a really good time with it. I'm surprised. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel, please feel free to come back by hitting that subscribe button. And as always, till the next video.